Let's talk about how to use timecode with show controller. Timecode is used for professional show productions to synchronize the different parts of the show, like lighting, audio, video, special effects, all these different parts of the production to synchronize them together to one show. So you have one time code that gives the timing signal and all the different parts are synchronized to that timing. Now to use show controller at a professional production, you may re be required to use the time code feature as well. So what we have with show controller is a very easy to use time code and I'll show you how that works. First of all, we need some device that creates a time code. Usually you get that from external at a production site, but we can also create that internally on our computer to try things out or also if you are the time code sender for the network. So I have this time code sender here, which is a freeware tool. You can get it from SDACO. It's a freeware tool. I create time code with that. And I also have a virtual MIDI port, which I uh, created with loop MIDI port. That's a loop MIDI. It's a freeware tool as well. Creates a virtual MIDI port. So using these two features, I can configure show controller. Um, I go to audio and settings and I select a time code source. Currently that's internal clock. So we don't have any audio file. It's just like playing back um, for advertising or whatever without audio file. But in this case, we switch it to MIDI time code. And on the right hand side, you see I al already selected the loop MIDI port, which is the one I created down here as input device because we want to have show controller triggered by the time code. So it's an input device. And also I want to put an offset because usually if you use time code, you have a certain offset about one hour or something like that, because then you can go even to negative if that is required in the future. So it, it gives you more flexibility. So let's see, I put one hour time code, one hour and 10 seconds I put as offset. So um, having all this set, I save my settings and I'm good to go. Let's check on the settings in my time code sender. Um, let's see for the first time code. I also set one hour and 10 seconds. And on the upper part, I set the loop MIDI port. It's the same MIDI port. And I also selected MTC short message. That is important because we don't want to send full message. Show controller works with short message that is fully sufficient and provides most flexibility in terms of compatibility. So that's why we use that. Okay. And it's also important to have it set to a 30 drop. So it's a certain type of time code. And this is basically the standard you will find in most scenarios. So for show controller to play back on a time code signal, you need to put it to the playback mode, which is the red play button. So I hit the red play button and show controller is ready to listen to time code. If I play the time code, obviously nothing will work because we're in a time slot that is not specified for show controller to play. So if I select one, which is the one I specified at one hour and 10 seconds, the show starts playing. You see it starts playing, the cursor moves, and now we have output because then it reaches the output content on the timeline. I can even pause the time code and the show pauses as well and I can continue time code and it continues playing. It is that simple. So it's basically three different steps, setting the time code properly and the MIDI loop MIDI you need and the audio settings set to time code and that's it. It is very simple.